Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. It has been over a month since I made a video. Uh, I hate I hate that it's been that long, but a lot of things have been happening in life lately, and um, it's getting closer to, to Christmas, and we just had, just had Thanksgiving last week, so a lot of things going on. But I wanted to do a proper garage update video. I've never actually done one of these. Uh, a lot of the YouTubers that I watch online do these um, often-ish, and they usually do pretty well. People like to see what the updates of the garage are. So here we go. Here's an update on the four vehicles I have. Two of them are in my garage. Two of them are outside all the times. But this is a garage update on Dulop's channel. <laughs> Starting with our latest edition of the garage. So you can probably see it in the reflection of my glasses right now, but my wife just got a new vehicle, and it's not new, it's 2012, um, but she got something she's been wanting for a long time, and that would be a Subaru Crosstrek. Why does she want a Crosstrek? Well, honestly, folks, I have no idea because I think they are hideous looking in every way possible, but she wanted one, and I like to do things that makes my wife happy, um, so I did. We got this actually in a little town um, out close Pittsburgh. It's in very good shape. This thing has got to come off. It's terrible. I hate bug shields on cars. Um, but it's in very good shape. There's really nothing wrong with it at all. Um, and she did want the Easter egg blue. It's like a robin egg blue. Um, but we couldn't find one for a good price. Um, anywhere, so we ended up going with the orange. She wants a bright colored car, so that's what we got. Now, you're probably wondering, why did you get rid of the Equinox? Well, our Equinox was, it's really windy out here, guys. I want to go inside here, plus it's 39 degrees, a little chilly. Uh, but I'll talk about it in here. Um, my wife, uh, we had the Equinox for three years, loved it, never had any issues with the Equinox at all. We bought it with 46,000 miles on it, 46,000 miles on it, and when we traded in on this, it had 115. Um, never had an issue the equinox was fantastic vehicle never had a problem with it uh, the only thing we did to it during that time was um, change the oil and the uh lower control arm on the driver's side needed replaced besides from that it was good it was a great vehicle but she wanted this she wanted something smaller she still she still likes suvs and she wants something that looked a little sporty the equinoxes are not sporty looking really much <laughs> at all so that's what she wanted to get. So while I while I tell you a little bit more about it, I want to go for a drive in this beast to show you a little bit more about it. So getting into the Subaru Crosstrek is, uh, well, it's all black interior, as you can tell. And the coolest thing about this car, which is one of the biggest reasons my wife wanted it, is it is a manual. So us having this manual, along with the Jetta manual, the truck manual, and the Corvette manual, that means we now have a four-vehicle four manual family we have no longer have any automatics with the exception of my lawnmower and i could not be happier folks and she loves driving stick um she had a neon before she had her equinox sorry a minivan she had a neon before she had the minivan before the equinox before this and she loved driving stick and she missed it a lot so she she got her five-speed manual uh it's what she wanted more than anything like that was an absolute requirement but there is some uh bad things about this car so the one thing that my wife told me that she had to have in her next vehicle was, of course, the stick. She definitely needed to have the manual. The second thing she wanted to have was something that was quick. She likes how my Jetta is fast. Um, my, my 2001 Jetta was a little faster because it was tuned and stuff, but she likes the snappiness of those cars, and she always wanted a newer vehicle, her new next vehicle, to be snappy. Um, she had looked at like a Volkswagen GTI, but they're just a little bit too small um, and a lot more out of our price range. Um, the funny thing is about, about this car is it is the slowest vehicle I have ever driven in my entire life. And my wife admits to it. Um, when we took it for a test drive, she's like, wow, this thing is really slow. And we have always complained about how slow our Equinox was. And I mean, it's not just like slow. It's like it's pathetic how slow they were. And this is actually slower. My wife told me, she said, this thing's really slow during the test drive. And I told her, I was like, honey, listen, babe. I said, just so you know, in like two months from now, after you own it, it's still gonna be slow. Like that's never gonna get better. And there's really nothing we can do to this little engine to bring out more power. Unless we wanna spend a bunch of money, which we don't have the money for that. Um, and she told me the other day, she's like, babe, I love my car. I love driving, I'm glad I have it. I don't wanna get rid of it, but 
I can really notice how slow it is, especially when I'm on the highway trying to get around traffic. And I'm like, yes, it does. I tried telling you that. But it is, it is ridiculous, people. I mean, my Jetta would annihilate this thing in every way possible. Even our Equinox would, is faster than this, uh, which is saying a lot. But I'm going to do a, a real quick, like, 0 to 40 to 50 pool here soon to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But, all right, so I know you guys probably can't see the dash too well with the GoPro, so I will I will tell you the speedometer, the speed limit, the speedometer as I'm going. But here's a real quick, like, 0 to here, – here we go, 0 – Five, twenty, thirty, forty. I'm um, just to the floor, guys. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy. <laughs> this is crazy. How much different this thing is compared to <laughs> compared to my Jetta, compared to the Corvette, but um, especially the Corvette. But she loves the car. It's all I care about. Um, she, she still to this day is so glad she got it. Yes, it's slower. The, rate, the sound system is horrendous, um, but she loves it and she's happy. And as long as she's happy, I'm happy. She's... All right, let's get out of this thing and get into uh, my daily driver. All right, now we're gonna hop into a, uh, a nicer machine here. This is my 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. And it is a diesel, of course. Most of you guys probably did not watch the video because it had terrible views, but um, I had a 2001 Jetta that I had to get rid of. Because it was causing me a lot of nickel and diming and uh, it was uh, had 300, 362,000 miles on it, 362,000 miles on it, and I sold it to a buddy that I work with um, but then I had to get this, and I like this car a lot. It just doesn't have, I don't, I don't have the same love for this as I had for my old one. But let's take this thing for for a little drive, and we'll talk about this a little bit. So as I said before, um, this Jetta does not have as much power as my 2001 did, only because it was t it was tuned, it had an EGR delete, and it it would just ran much better. Now, <laughs> the one thing about the 2001 that I loved uh, even more than this one is the sound. Uh, I, you could really, really hear the turbo in my old car. The turbo in that car sounded so sweet. It had a real nice whistle to it. And it just, I don't know, I, I oh gosh, I missed that sound so bad. The sound that car had was like nothing else I've ever owned. And I'd like to make this car sound like that, but there's so many different restrictions on these motors now and so many oxygen sensors here and there, I, I probably wouldn't better get away with it unless I want to spend a lot of money, which, eh, yeah, you know where that's going to go. But um, I do love this car a lot. Uh, it has become, I've, I've had it now for just a little over a year. Um, I haven't put very many miles on it only because of being quarantined at home for so long. Um, I have now been working from home since March. Uh, so you're looking at nine months now at home, not driving back and forth to work every day. And that's about a 60, a 60 uh, mile savings per day, five days a week. So you're looking at like 300 miles a week. I'm not driving right now. Now we do drive in the evening sometimes and we go here and there. Um, but it's definitely not as far as driving to work and back every single day. Um, I bought this car with, uh, 68,000 miles on it and there's currently 84. Um, so in nine months. I haven't even put 20,000 miles on it, and my average per year is about 27 to 30,000 a year, uh, and I did not get close to that. But we're going to go up here and do a real quick 0 to 70 pool, just like I did in my wife's car in her uh, Subaru Crosstrek, and we can see what the difference is. Again, you probably won't be able to see the speedometer too well because of the GoPro not being that great um, in low light, plus it's kind of far away. I'm in widescreen mode, uh, but I will tell you the miles per hour as I get there. All right. Zero miles per hour, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Not bad. A lot better than that uh, orange thing I just got done driving, but definitely has a lot more get up and go. Uh, the, the turbo lag in this car is a lot worse than my 2001, and that's because of all the stuff I did to it um, as well. The turbo lag in my in my old car was basically non-existent because of, of the EGR delete that I had on there. As soon as you'd give it gas, man, she was spooling and she was pulling. This this car here kind of has a 
a, a, a decent amount of turbo lag, but I mean, it is completely bone stock. I've not done anything to it. Reason for that is when I bought it last year, it came with a um, warranty for the TDI issues they were having um, for five years or 120,000 miles. So I know my miles will be will be up before the, the years, but that's that's no problem at all. But that is this car. Um, if this car is not going anywhere anytime soon, is my daily driver. I do love it a lot. Her name is Gabriella. Um, I do name on my cars. Some people think that's weird. Some people think it's awesome. Don't care what you think. But my car is Gabriella, and my wife's car. I forgot to tell you the name of hers, but she wanted to name it something based off the color, and it is Chester. She named it Chester based off the Cheetos, and um, so that's Chester, and this is Gabriella. Now we're gonna go get into Katie, which, as most of you probably know, that is my 1991 Corvette, and I have not started that car. In quite some time it's probably been about a month so it might sound pretty good on this 43 degree day um, so let's get in that car Now we have good old Katie. This is my 1991 Corvette, and as you can tell, she does. Oh yeah, she sounds amazing. But this is my 1991 Corvette that I have a lot of pride and joy in. This is the uh, main attraction to my channel, and I really appreciate you guys coming out and watching my videos. Um, I've done a lot to this car. Um, some people would say it's a lot, some people would say it's nothing at all, um, but I have done a few things to the car since the channel, fixing a lot of things, doing some diagnosing things, shit like that. Um, we're going to take this for a drive and get a 0 to 70 or 0 to 60 pool as well, but um, we'll talk a little bit about it here. Alrighty folks, and as I mentioned, this is the staple of the channel, this is what I do most of my content on, pretty much all my content on. Um, I bought this car 11, almost 12 years ago guys, next month. <laughs> Next month will be 12 years since I've bought this car and I cannot believe it's been 12 years. It doesn't even seem possible. Um, by the way, the roof is off right now. It's 43 degrees outside and the roof is off as you guys can tell. I like driving with the roof off. It is very cold. I'm not going to say it's not. I'm not one of them people that's going to sit here and lie to you. Um, but just for this short video, I figured I'll keep the top off. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be 12 years since I bought this car. Unbelievable it's been that amount of time. Um, I did tell you guys in a video this that I filmed a few months ago that my my plans are slash were to replace the um, shocks on this car this winter. Um, that was the plan. Uh, I was looking at prices; they're about $400 um, for all four of them, which isn't really expensive. But my wife and I are trying so hard to pay our debt off, and we're trying to not put anything on the credit card unless it's something we absolutely need. Um, and shocks is something that I do not need right now. I know a lot of you would probably disagree with that. I have a lot of people say, well, why don't you just throw a thousand dollars at it and fix it? Why well, I don't have a thousand dollars to throw. If I did, guys, believe me, I would. Um, I would love to do a lot more to this car, but I just can't afford four hundred dollars right now for shocks for a car that is not driven all the time. Um, but I, I love this car. This car is not going anywhere anytime soon. I, I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it. I, I have said for years to a lot of people, I'll never sell this car. This will be my son's car someday. I will hand it down to him. Uh, but no intention of ever getting rid of it. If I were to ever be lucky enough to win, an, win a Corvette or have someone give me one, I would keep that and this. I would not, I would not replace this with another Corvette. This is my pride and joy this is what started my whole entire love for Corvettes this was the beginning of the YouTube channel well <laughs> the beginning beginning of me making the channel actually about something and not just me being stupid but um, yeah let's let this truck pass here since this is a one-lane bridge and we're gonna go up here we're going to do a pool like we did last time and again I will just tell you guys the, the, the speed since you guys probably can't see it down here now keep in mind my tachometer is not correct so Please forgive me for that. All right. Oops. A little squirrely back there. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
and there's 90. So yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> so good 42 degrees I love it uh, definitely a lot faster than the Jetta not a lot faster but definitely faster than the Jetta and light years faster than that orange cross track but um very fun car to drive guys I know a lot of you have went out and actually bought a C4 since watching my videos and that warms my heart <laughs> so much you have no idea how much that how happy that makes me to know that I helped you guys make a purchase and every single person that has gotten one has told me that they have fallen in love they love their new their new C4 of course new to them not new car but their new C4 and are so happy they got it I'm glad I could help you guys make that decision um, I hope you guys continue to like it and uh, they're just so much fun to drive guys they, they are just so much fun the power is there uh, this is a 1991 with an L98 um, engine in it and of course it's got the six-speed manual right here uh, which is my absolute favorite thing about the car um, but yeah uh, I love this car guys it's so much fun I do I, I do intend to do the shocks like I said but I don't think it's gonna happen this winter just because we just simply cannot afford it right now and I do not want to put my family in more debt to fix something that's not broken I mean they are really bad the shocks are shot but um that's that's it all right so that pretty much does it for the for the Corvette for Katie now we're going to move on to the last vehicle in the fleet, and that is my 1989 Chevy pickup truck. It's a Scottsdale K1500 with an 8-foot bed. Let's get home, and let's get right onto that truck. Alrighty, folks. This is the last vehicle in our fleet. This is, again, this is my 1989 Scottsdale K1500 with an 8-foot bed, single cab. We're going to get this thing. I'm going to back this thing out and let it idle just a little bit because she's a little cold-blooded. She likes to be ran before you drive her, especially when it's cold. But as you can see, it is Ernie has 77,000 miles on it. It is in excellent condition. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, and uh, we're going to back her out here. There we go. Of course, this is a four speed with overdrive. I just call it a five speed because it's basically what it is. Um, but uh, I like having the sticks, guys. You know, I like my sticks. So. Again, all four vehicles are manuals. Uh, I did that for a reason. I like manuals. My wife likes manuals, so it just made sense. But let's let this thing sit here a little bit, and I want to talk to you a little bit about it. It's a little loud. I I want you guys to make sure you guys can hear me. There's not a bunch of background. I'm gonna put this door down just for now. I just wanted you guys to know because I really haven't done. I really haven't showed you guys a whole bunch about the garage since it's been done, and it is done now. But um. I got my little red Corvette sign over there, as you guys can see that. That was in my, my parents' garage when I, when I lived there. I got my air com my air compressor. Air compressor, and I got my power washer here that was given to me by my, given to me by my father-in-law since he moved to Maine. Air hose, blah blah blah. Snow blower, which I just got out of my shed because of course it's ready to snow. And then I got some road signs here. The borough of Carlisle uh, had these and they were they were no good anymore. So they, they were my father-in-law actually was able to get someone to bring home for me. Uh, Got myself a refrigerator in here, which I think I am running low. Yeah, I only got one in there. I only got one Coke. Of course, nothing in the freezer. And I finally got Wi-Fi out here. I did run Ethernet cable underground into the house. Now I have cable for that. Got my brooms hanging up. I got my nice display here with my, my power tools. My wife has me doing some projects here for home stuff. That's why the wood's there. My toolbox, of course. My Steelers hat because they are 11 and 0. What? what? And uh, of course it's cold outside. This you guys saw before, but I did want to tell you, I have done a little bit to it since uh, you guys last saw it. Um, I got some of these shades um, from my father-in-law as well. And uh, he actually got me another traffic light, which is in the bed of the truck, which I will show you in a glimpse here soon. But he got me three new lights that actually um, worked. So I rigged up some, uh, some wire here to it, wire. I rigged up a um, cord here to it and hooked them in and Voila! Now they, they do all come out at the same time. I don't have them rotating. I just have it on, um, but still it looks really cool. I think it's awesome, especially when it's dark in here. Uh, if I turn the lights off even now, it probably look pretty cool. Yeah, um, just looks really cool to have it in there. And of course, it's right beside my Corvette sign. That was good to me by a subscriber, Brian. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that I got this. I think it looks really cool. Uh, I love it being in here, and this is a, it's a simple switch, on and off switch like that. Um, I did get my 
chemicals that I clean my car with um, inside where it's not going to freeze because that stuff's not supposed to freeze. Um, I got another shelf that was in our house that my wife didn't want anymore for a couple things in here. And of course, other little things here. But the garage is basically done. Uh, there's really nothing else I have plans to do to it. Um, I know a lot of people have asked me about doing the floor. I'm not really going to do the floor because of this big crack here. Plus, it's not cheap. It's like $1,000 to do the whole floor. And I'm not spending $1,000 for a floor. I'm sorry. It would be awesome, but I'm not doing it. Uh, but this is the garage. Uh, now, moving on to the truck that's sitting out there idling right now. Um, as some of you probably know, and the reason I say some is because the video that I made two years ago did not do well at all, so maybe you guys don't know about it. The truck was handed down to me by my grandfather. It's my mom's dad. Um, he had diabetes really bad. Um, he could not feel his feet anymore. It's called neurop neuropathy or something like that. So he couldn't feel the stick. I mean, sorry, he couldn't feel the clutch. Um, to push it in so he could shift with the stick when he was driving. Um, so he passed the, the truck down to me two years ago in November. So last year was two years. Very, very, very sad news. Um, he actually passed away last evening at 7.30 um, last night. Um, he was on oxygen for about a year and a half. I mean, he had a lot of breathing. He had a lot of health issues, a lot of health issues, um, diabetic. Um, congestive heart failure, but he was maintaining himself really well. Um, for the past year, he's been doing really well, had no issues at all. Um, but unfortunately, two weeks ago, he actually um, tested positive for COVID-19 and was put in the hospital a couple days later. And uh, it went it went downhill so quick. And um, we we gave him every chance we could. My my mom, her sister, and and brother were all there with with him when he passed away. Um, very. Very sad. Um, it's very, I'm very emotional with this, with this um, because the truck means so much more to me today than it did even yesterday. Because I knew this day was going to come eventually. I didn't want it to come this soon, and especially by this stupid virus going around. Um, but that is what took his life. Um, but uh, I'm glad I have the truck. Uh, his services are going to be, I think, this Tuesday and Wednesday, like three or four days from now. So I want to get the truck cleaned up. Clean the wheels really good. I have not really cleaned anything since I got the truck. It, it was it was in good shape. The wheels have some brake dust on. I want to get that taken care of. Um, so, yeah, uh, grandfather is Pappy. I call him Pappy Choo Choo. When I was a little boy, he always took me to the train tracks, and I always called him Pappy Choo Choo, like train Choo Choo. Um, so that's what I've always called him. Even to this day, that's what he's in my phone as um, in my contact list, Pappy Choo Choo. Um, so Pappy Choo Choo is no longer here. Um, it's very sad. Um, very emotional. Uh, um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, but um, it's just, it's just it's just sad that he's not here anymore. But um, I'm I'm very glad I have the truck. But with that said, I'm gonna take it out for a drive um, because I want. Well, um, the reason I'm cleaning the wheels is because um, I'm taking it to the viewing and the funeral, so it can be there as like a memorial for Pap. Um, but I did want you guys to know my truck actually was being used as a garage just uh, two weeks ago, and, I, and I'm, I'm so thankful that, that we did this two weeks ago because we had no idea this was gonna happen to Pap. Um, but my dad and I actually replaced the head gasket, all the other gaskets, the exhaust, manifold, all, all that stuff, um, distributor gasket, everything. Replaced the water pump, thermostat, um, head gasket, like I said. But um, we had the whole entire truck apart. I didn't realize that there was that much stuff involved in replacing a head gasket. I've never done one before. My dad and I were in here. I'll show you a clip right now. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of proof that we are actually using the garage uh, for a garage. Uh, the garage has not been this dirty since we moved in, or I shouldn't say dirty, but this cluttered since we moved in. But as you can see, uh, we are doing a lot of work here to the truck. We had to take the whole entire top of the engine apart. We replaced the head gasket, the head bolts, and the lifters. Uh, I put a video on Instagram several months ago now, but the lifters, when you turn it on, it would just like chung, 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 chung. And uh, so that's why we replaced them. We're getting things back together here now, but we have uh, lots of tools, lots of parts here. There's the uh, top of the engine, the intake, and of course the, the radiator shroud, and the valve covers there, and the fan, and of course the gasket box. We got coffee going because it's late at night and uh, we're working outside here. And it is currently, what is the temperature? It is 58 degrees in here, which is legit. Um, but I just want to show proof that we are using the garage as a garage and I uh, absolutely love it. But as you can see, uh, we, we definitely had 
we had we, it was a fun time. We we learned a lot. Dad, Dad, Dad was over here four different days for a couple hours each time. We got it all back together. It runs excellent now. We'll take it out here and show it to you real quick here. She's running really good, um, but uh, I'm I'm glad the truck is running now because if we wouldn't have gotten it fixed, we wouldn't have been able to take it to the viewing, which would have been a huge sadness for me. Um, the reason we had to do the head gasket is because there was actually antifreeze getting into the oil really bad. Um, it was overheating and going through antifreeze like crazy, so we had to get that done. Um, I'm so glad my dad and I could do it because if someone else had to do it for me, it would have been a lot of money, like probably several grand. Um, so th very thankful about that. But yeah, I, I was really hoping to, to be able to um, take my pap for a drive in the truck um, after I got it fixed up so he could you know, take it for a ride because he's not been in it since he sold it to me. Um, it didn't happen. But the good thing is, um, he did know the Lord. He is now in heaven celebrating and he's got a perfect body now. He's happy. And that's what makes it easier for us to accept. Um, so let's go out here and get in the truck, take it for a real quick drive, and uh, see how she's running. There's zero sounds now at all. You can tell she's idling really, really smoothly. No problems there. So let's take this for a real quick drive. There's the old traffic light that my father in law got me that's actually all metal that the lights came from to put them in there. But let's go for a quick drive. This truck is four-wheel drive, which is awesome, and I have used it last year in the winter, and it ran, it worked very well, it ran good. Um, again, five-speed manual. Let's take her here for a quick drive. I have so many memories of being in this truck with my grandfather. I used to go up there a lot whenever I was a little boy, and um, I would always sit over here, of course. And um, something my pap always had in his truck, which I'm not really sure why, um, but he always had a jug of water up in the front seat that he would use to take drinks whenever he was thirsty. And of course it wasn't cold, it was just lukewarm. Um, but um, he always had that in here. And whenever I got this truck two years ago, I had said that I was going to do that to keep, the, keep, the, the, keep the, the memory of that. But I never have at this point. I don't know if I still will or not. Um, but... Uh, I remember, I remember going for rides in him, rides with him in this truck. He would, he would show me how to shift the gears. Um, he would show me, you know, all kinds of stuff about the truck. The radio still works, of course. He would show me how that, because I was little, you know, I was, I was a very little boy. I didn't know anything about vehicles at that time. He would show me how the radio worked, show me how the speedometer and stuff worked, and I just remember being in the truck with him, and he would tell me stories. We'd go to the flea markets together. We'd go to the mall. We'd go all over the place. Go out for lunch. Go to Burger King. I remember going to Burger King with him and getting some lunch. Um, I actually still have, um, he left a comb in here that was his, and it's, it's in the glove box over there. Um, I still have that. I'm definitely not going to get rid of that at all, ever. Um, so the, the memories of, the memories I have with this truck are, are there. They're very strong. Um, <clears throat> the truck is not something I use a lot. I definitely used it a lot whenever we moved last December. Um, which I, I can't believe it's been a year, guys, since we moved, but it's been a year. Uh, the 23rd of this month will be a year since we moved in. But we used this truck a lot to move stuff then. We moved a lot of furniture, moved a lot of other stuff little here and there that was in the house. Um, but because because I have this truck from my grandfather, and I, I am the only grandson. There's five granddaughters, and then I'm the only grandson, and I'm the oldest. Um, I'm the one, that's why I'm the one that got the truck. Uh, but he, uh, he gave it to me, and... Um, just because the truck used to be his and my pap and I were so close, that's why I, I, I will never ever sell this truck or give it away. Um, I mean, I have no idea what the future holds, but I have zero intention of ever getting rid of this truck. My mom is so thankful that I have it because it is her dad's, and now every time she sees it, you know, she'll, she, she'll be able to remember her dad by that. Plus, my mom has already been in it and rode with me, and she just loves the fact that I have her daddy's truck. Um, and it's just special for the whole family. They all know that his his truck that he drove all the time is still in in the family's hands. And uh, he bought this truck brand new in December of 1980. All right, so my GoPro just um, shut off on me. I'm not really sure why, because the battery is fully charged. But um, we are using the phone camera now. Uh, but <clears throat> what I was saying before the camera shut off is that I don't drive this a whole lot because I can't fit all the kids in here with my, with my wife because the truck is not used a whole lot. I do I do like to drive it myself here every once in a while, just to keep things lubricated because you know a vehicle that sits is not healthy at all. Um, but this truck does have the old gauges, um, which my best friend was in here about a year ago, and he's like, "Oh man, I, I didn't realize it had those kind of gauges." I said, "Oh yeah," he's like, "Dude, that's so cool looking." And like when the lights are on or, or they turn green, 
Um, you guys can see that there. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I, I love the way this truck looks. It's very old school. Uh, it's so simple. Uh, trucks these days are not simple at all. Uh, as I'm sure all of you know that. No vehicle is really simple these days, but uh, this is a very nice truck to have. So this is my 1989 Scottsdale truck. And like I said, this truck means more to me today than it did yesterday uh, because my grandfather has passed away. Um, very sad day for the family, um, but he will definitely live in our hearts forever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. This was a uh, my very first garage update in the Dulops garage um, here on the YouTube channel. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the vehicles we had and show you guys what's new, what's been here for a long time, what means the most to me, and uh, my daily driver and my wife's daily driver. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, update. If you guys did enjoy hearing about the garage update and each car and what they're currently at and all that stuff, please let me know. Um, I'd like to do more like this, um, maybe like once or twice a year, two times a year. Um, so any 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 comments, anything at all would be greatly appreciated. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys did not like this video, I'm sorry, but please give it a thumbs up anyways, it really helps. Please subscribe to my channel. There's a little red button down here flashing. And uh, take care now. See you later. Bye. Pretty sweet, huh? Looks pretty cool at nighttime. I have to say so for myself. <laughs>